We looked really hard to find the coolest gadget uh, we could find today. Roll this thing. It's a spying robo snake used right now on a testing basis in Israel with an all seeing eye that can record video and sound as it snakes its way through enemy territory, like that plot of green grass on your screen. This looks like a kid's toy. I cannot believe this is real. Check it out. Now, Ward Carroll is our friend, editor of military.com. How are you doing, Ward? Good morning to you. Hi, Bill. Uh, we love seeing you, but I really want to see the snake guys. Uh, roll <laughs> the videotape and tell me how this thing moves, Ward. Well, it moves just like a real snake. Uh, it, it can either uh, coil and uncoil or uh, undulate up and down based on you know how it how it needs to go. But as you see in the video there, it can peek up, uh, look above terrain. It basically the the draw in an intelligence arena is it moves just like a real snake. Well, it's just like a slinky inside or what? I, I don't get it. Well, it has you know it has mechanism, universal joints, and and mini motors that. Uh, that have it, you know, it, it's segmented uh, throughout its body there. It's about six feet long, and, and uh, it allows it to move just like you're seeing in the video. It is so cool. It's and like and the, the, the front end is a camera, I take it? It's a lens? Yeah, you got a camera, right. You got a camera, uh, you know, high res camera in the front. Uh, you can uh, feed a C4 explosive throughout the body if you needed it to take something out. Uh, a lot of different things you can do with that. Uh, obviously, you got to be able to see, so the camera. Uh, is probably the most important attachment there. And, and the camera sends back a signal to somebody working a computer? Right. The guy is based at a laptop, uh, the controller. Um, it, it obviously lets him know where he's uh, headed. Um, and as you can see there, you could feed the snake into all kinds of different cracks and, and, and different uh, areas that you couldn't otherwise enter uh, with other robots or not to mention a human being. Well, so in terms of could this be used in Iraq or that sort of thing, you know, a lot of these insurgent strongholds are in disrepair, so um, you could just have the snake uh, kind of crawl in, a, a, you know, a crack in the wall and, uh, and probably be, uh, have more intelligence than you otherwise would. Wow, that is amazing. Now, they've been working on this since the 1970s, but, I mean, with our technology yeah. and advancement, I, I assume we're a lot closer to making it happen, right? Exactly. They've been working on mimicking animal capabilities is what uh, various organizations in Japan, as you mentioned, Bill, uh, they've been working on a robo dog. Uh, the Israelis have been working on uh, a cat that can climb walls, a, a dog that answers commands. Uh, whoa, so this is a, you know, it's, a cat that climbs walls. Yeah. You know, using its claws, just like your cat at home. Um, this is uh, another, you know, it has both civil defense applications and uh, intelligence applications. You can imagine something, uh, you know, if you're an insurgent, you look across the street and there's a cat climbing a wall, it probably won't draw your attention as much as, you know, a platoon of soldiers or even a robot. So, you know, you can see how this might have some uh, efficacy uh, that would be of value to uh, our forces. Wow, that is, that's extraordinary. It is. Uh, also, what they call a dog droid, you're about to explain that. It responds to human movement. How would that yeah, work? Well, or human commands. It? Well, you, you know, if you were out of, uh, if you didn't have a laptop, you needed something that uh, a soldier could just say, go do something, just like a real dog, but you didn't want to risk the life of a real dog. Um, you can, you know, this is in a bomb a disposal arena, bomb sniffers, all these sorts of things, just like you use a real dog, like any of our unmanned vehicles, uh, you know, you would use this sort of dog robot. So, Very you know, cool. the Israelis are developing all these things at once, and the, yeah. the robo snake. And I like that name, by the way. The Robo Snake is, uh, is also in development. So we'll see. Thank you, Ward. Uh, by the okay, way, Bill. one of the great advantages of this snake could not even be military. It could search through a building that had just collapsed if you're looking for survivors. And this Robo Snake would be able to do that at some point, still in the testing phase. Ward Carroll, thank you. That's the primary you. use that the Israelis are, do, are using it yeah. for, is that application. Thank you, man. Good to see you again, okay? Okay. Appreciate you, see you coming you. in. We'll also, we've got uh, okay. email lines open right now, too. Hemmer at foxnews.com, because you asked BYA right there. Also, follow me on Twitter at Bill Hemmer. And next hour, great question coming up on North Korea.